Here is the PSP bus presser. As the name suggests, it's a compressor designed to be used on a master bus or group buses. It's based on classic VCA type compression with the added convenience of a side chain filter and a dry control for parallel compression. Let's take a look at the interface which includes all of the usual compressor controls. The first thing to catch the eye is the large VU meter top left of center which indicates the average amount of gain reduction taking place at any one time. Beneath that is the threshold trim. This sets the level that the audio needs to exceed before the compressor will start to work. The ratio control is just to the right of the VU meter and adjusts how much the audio is compressed once the threshold has been exceeded. These two controls interact together to set the amount of gain reduction. A low threshold and low ratio will produce the same amount of gain reduction as a high threshold and high ratio, but with a slightly different character. Low threshold, low ratio affects more of the material with gentle compression, whereas high threshold, high ratio affects less of the signal but with greater compression. Finding the balance between the two is a secret to getting the best out of a compressor. Top left corner control is the attack parameter. This controls how quickly the compressor responds to audio when it starts to rise in level and is above the threshold. The range is from 0.1 millisecond to 100 milliseconds. Faster attack times catch more of the initial transient while slower times allow more of the transients through before compression takes place. The release control to the bottom controls how long the applied gain reduction takes to return to normal. Times range from 0.1 second to 3 seconds. Fast times may cause pumping while slow release times can result in too much compression. There is a switch to turn on auto release and this works well on most material. Makeup gain is used to increase and adjust the level for the amount of gain reduction being applied. The sidechain high pass filter attenuates low frequencies used in the signal that controls the compressor. Use this to adjust how much effect the low frequencies have on the amount of compression applied. It ranges from 20 Hz to 2 kHz. This can be especially useful on drum buses as we'll see shortly. Toward the far right are two level controls and on-off switches. Dry relates to the unprocessed signal and compressed the processed signal. The dry level control can be used to create parallel compression, again useful on drums or any other material where it's desirable to keep the original transients. Along the bottom is the preset and AB management area. The red arrows are used to save while the green arrows are used to load. Presets can be selected by clicking on the preset load icon and renamed by clicking in the name field. So now let's take a look at it in use. Here I have it inserted on my master bus with one of the mix presets loaded. Let's see how the various parameters affect the compression and overall sound. As you can see from the meter, there is some fairly gentle gain reduction taking place. Notice that if I reduce the attack time, more gain reduction is applied as more transients are compressed, but also notice how the mix loses some of its punch, especially the drums. The release time is relatively short and turning on auto doesn't change this much. Now I'll increase the release time and notice how gain reduction barely stops now as the compressor holds on to the release phase for longer. The mix loses clarity because of that. Lowering the threshold increases compression. As does increasing ratio. Makeup gain can be increased to take account of that, but it's probably too much compression taking place now, and the mix has lost much of its dynamic feel. You'll clearly hear that as I use the B load icon to reload the original mix preset.
Now we'll see how the high pass filter can be useful to reduce pumping caused by base material triggering gain reduction. Here it is on a drum bus loaded with the kick through preset which is producing up to 6 decibels of gain reduction. Note that the sidechain high pass filter cutoff is currently set to 20 Hz. As I increase the cutoff frequency, you'll see the gain reduction reduce in the meter and hear that the cymbals and snare especially become more prominent as the amount of compression triggered by the kick drum is reduced. Next I'll demonstrate parallel compression. I'll increase the ratio and hence the compression so that the gain reduction is quite severe. Obviously this doesn't sound particularly good, but I'm going to reduce the amount of compressed signal, turn on the dry signal and increase the level of that. Now I can use the compressed level control to blend in the amount of compressed signal required. Now I'll cancel a drum bus solo so we can hear the drums in context of the mix. I'm going to use the compressed in-out switch to demonstrate the difference the heavily compressed signal is making to the overall sound. You'll hear how the drums are beefed up and more clearly defined as soon as the compressed signal is added back in. Notice how severe the compression is though as I turn the dry signal off. Combined though, they produce great sounding drums. And that's just a couple of uses for Buspressor, a classic sounding bus compressor.